You are directly impacting the Hispanic demographic in a negative way. You are directly impacting what is happening with the children in this country, and you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a representative. Representing women in this country, shame on you. You're not going to win. Hi, I'm the director of Hispanic Engagement Training Point USA. I want to know about the children that you are saying that are at the border right now. I'm not going to back off. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm asking her. She's saying that she supports Hispanic. I understand. Those ladies asked her to take a picture before you walked up. I don't care. You're in my way. Don't talk to me. She's promoting family reunification. Tell me uh, what you think should happen next uh, as far as the Trump administration is concerned with the family separation policy. Well, they need to end this, this policy. It is unconscionable, it is immoral, it is wrong, and it is unnecessary. Yes, there is a crisis. This is modern day slavery, but what's horrifying about this is that you have the exploitation of children. It's the pain of traveling through an unknown land, right through the country of Mexico, relying on strangers in these caravans. The pain of all that they will be exposed to during that trek, right, not really being in control of much, and the, the abuse that they may endure. That, to me, that is at the point at which I say, no, this needs to stop, and that this is not a partisan issue. This is an issue that we know is happening. This has been happening for a long time, and it's almost by God's grace that now we're being forced to deal with this because this has been something that if we don't deal with it now, when is it gonna stop? A lot of questions have come up about the humanity of our policies, as they should. There's some, there's some rightful, anger about family separation. But unfortunately, it's myopic because nobody ever talks about the other issues that we might have when it comes to our humanity. There's a young woman in my office yesterday. She's from Mexico. She's about 18 years old. She was taken across the border, kidnapped about five years ago. On the third attempt, because they were turned back twice by Border Patrol, on the third attempt, they made it through. And she was brought to New York City where she was raped approximately 30 times a day for five years. No, I'm not going to back off. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm asking her. She's saying that she supports Hispanic. I understand. Those ladies asked her to take a picture before you walked up. I don't care. You're in my way. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Before you walked up. She is damaging what is happening to Hispanic women and children at the border because she's promoting family reunification with child sex trafficking. You're not, you're not commenting on this issue. You are directly impacting the Hispanic demographic in a negative way. You are directly impacting what is happening with the children in this country, and you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a representative. Representing women in this country, shame on you. You're not going to win.